This is CES M M A. Here is the Situate Chiropractic Center's tail of the tape. We are in the heavyweight division. John Johnson coming in at 5-0 with five knockouts fighting out of Sityatong. Josh Heavy Hendricks, the UFC vet, 19-9 with five knockouts fighting out of Barberton, Ohio. Let's send it down to Rick Provost for the official introduction. The time to fight is here. The time for talk is over. This is the Situate Chiropractic Center incorporated bout of the evening for the first ever in vacant CES MMA, MMA Heavyweight Championship. We begin with the blue corner. He weighed in at 259 pounds. He has a professional record of 19 wins, nine losses, five wins, coming by way of knockout and 12 by submission. He hails from Barberton, Ohio. He represents Team Naguerria. He is a UFC veteran. Please welcome Josh Heavy Hendricks. And his opponent, he's fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 258 pounds. He has a professional record of five wins, no losses. He is out of Reading, Massachusetts. Representing Cynthia Tong, please welcome John Big John Johnston. This fight is scheduled for five five minute rounds in the heavyweight division. The man in charge at the bell is referee Dan Migliata. Here we go, heavyweight title bout between John Johnson in the white trunks. Josh Heavy Hendricks in the gray. This should be a war. It's the inaugural CES MMA heavyweight title bout. They'd be hard pressed to find two more well-deserving candidates than these two, Scott. Don't blink, boys and girls. John Johnson has finished all five of his fights, four of them in the first round. Hendricks with a quick takedown right off the rip. Not a big surprise there. John's done very well knocking people out, standing up. For the time being, at least, Hendricks has taken that option out of the playbook with a quick takedown. And John Johnson, before this fight, said a lot of people overlook my ground game because I never have to use it. Well, he's going to have to use it here. Well, it looks like Hendricks is going for an armbar early, belly down armbar. Johnson needs to jump over the top here. I don't think Hendricks has it. He's got to readjust his thumb and put his hips through. Johnson doing a good job at defending, trying to step over here. Hendricks switches to the triangle. Johnson's gonna try to pull straight out of this. Quick start for Josh Hendricks. Josh landed some short shots and we got some fresh blood going right now. Could have been from that ground and pound. You're right, somebody's bleeding, Scott, and most likely it's John Johnson. It could have been no, it could have been on the takedown as well. You never know if, if Josh Hendricks hits a knee on the way in, etc. See, it's, it's, it's Johnson's blood that's get pouring into Hendricks' face. It's right in his eye. But it's Johnson's blood. Yeah, it's pulled right into Hendricks' eye, which yep. is certainly tough for Hendricks' vision. And now John Johnson breaks out of the hole trying to rain down those hammer fists. Nice job by the, the transition by Hendricks there. Johnson had top for a second. Dan Bergiotta's going to call time and stand them up. And clear his eye because it's his opponent's blood. And it appears that it's under John Johnson's left eye from what we can see here, and it's a bloody mess. Looks like his eye's already closed, Scott. Looks that way to me. So we're barely two minutes into this heavyweight bout, and it's already a bloody mess. Dan Bergliotto put him back in the original position. Excellent, excellent referee right there. That's a great job. And here we go. Action back on the way. 3.15 to go in round number one. Scheduled for five in the Hendricks blood. Hendricks to mount. The blood already pouring, Scott. And now he's grapevining that mount, really securing it. <laughs> Hendricks, as tough as they come, 12 submissions out of his 19 wins. So he has been able to do it in all ways, Scott, whether it's knockout submissions or going the distance. 
Yep, now you're looking at Hendricks doing some ground and pound from the top position. Johnson's doing a really good job of trying to get himself back up. He just needs to buck up and, and try to attack Hendricks' base, his balance here. Nice job by Johnson attacking the base, but he, his legs can't be flat. His feet need to be flat in the ground here. Scott, without question, this is the most trouble John Johnson's ever been in in a professional fight. Highest level fight he's ever taken. He actually broke his ankle entering the cage in his second pro fight against Sean Durfee. That's why that fight actually went two rounds. Johnson eventually finished him, but, but this is certainly a more disadvantageous position for the big guy as he is down on his back, bleeding from the left eye. Hendricks is doing a great job with those short elbows, really laying it to him. Johnson's pushing up and straightening his arms. Hendricks would have an opportunity for an armbar, but does not look like he wants to submit here. Looks like he just wants to ground a pound. Now he's passing over the arm triangle. And he's giving rid of the, now he's just ground a pound in a way, using a short, short little hammer fist. Hendricks is riding Johnson out at the moment to maintain the top position. And this is no question exhausting for John Johnson, no matter all the condition in the world you train for. This is a 10-8 round, and in a five round fight, that this could have just cost you two rounds. Now you see Hendricks step over for the armbar, but he put himself against the fence. It was a big mistake, if you ask me. Right. Johnson now trying to pour it on. Hendricks trying to defend. I think he, he does look fine. He's taking some short punches. Hendricks needs to work and show Dan Magliata that he's in this fight. Yeah, grabbing the wrist is not gonna be enough. He's gonna do something here, Scott. Johnson has turned the tide momentarily. And he's turned it to a, from a 10-8 round to a 10-9 round. With a minute left, turning him over like that, getting his shots in. Now it's not a total dominating round. Johnson doing a very good job, showing lots of heart right here. And it's still 30 seconds. I don't think Hendricks can ride this out, not doing anything. That's, That's it. it! Wow! I didn't see that coming. John Johnson pulls off the upset. He is the CES MMA heavyweight champion. Josh Hendricks stopped on his back as Johnson scores the knockout victory. Dan Marigliata stepped in and stopped the fight. Too many excessive blows. A tremendous turnaround. It appeared John Johnson was in trouble from the beginning. The left eye completely closed, but he turns it around and gets the win. As soon as Hendricks went for the armbar, Johnson rolled back over and started delivering those right hands. And Hendricks just did not do enough to defend himself or get back to his feet. Dan Mergliata stops it, and John Johnson has the belt. Toughest test of his career, and no doubt the biggest win of his short career. Both fighters a bloody mess after this one. John Johnson was busted open early on in the fight on that left eye. You see them taking a look at it some more. The doctor inside right now trying to check it out. That eye was completely shut. Less than two minutes into round number one, but Johnson persevered nonetheless despite being a bloody mess and pulls out the win. And just when it appeared that he may be in trouble, Johnson turned the tide as Hendricks is trying to go for the on -bar. Now here's the final seconds here. Merck got to just step it in. It didn't appear Hendricks was hurt. It appeared that Hendricks was a bit surprised too on the way up after the stoppage. It's certainly a disappointing finish. And here it is from another angle. You don't see Hendricks absorbing too much here. See a right hand sneak in, a left hand rather, two more lefts. But Mergliata from the start was right on top of it watching the action. And in his opinion, Hendricks just didn't do enough to defend himself. And there it is, there's the stoppage. So Big John Johnson gets the victory. He wins the inaugural CES MMA Heavyweight Championship. Huge win in his first real step-up fight against Josh Heavy Hendricks. Tremendous fight. Let's send it down to Rick Provost for the particulars. Decision. Referee Dan Morgliata 
steps in and calls a halt to this contest due to unanswered blows at four minutes and 36 seconds of round number one. The, fish, the fight is officially stopped and your winner by TKO is John Big Johnston. John, we don't have much time. I gotta tell you, unbelievable fight, all hot. You really worked your way on top of that finish. Real quick, Pat. Why do you feel being the CES champ? You know, this is a dream come true. This belt is not only for me, it's for all my team, and every single one of you people out there that have supported me. My grandfather up there looking down on me. My son, Evan. This belt right here. I'll tell you right now, priceless to me, priceless. Well, you earned it tonight, John. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, the new heavyweight CES MA champ.